Hi, my name is Ben and I'm an engineer here at Machine Metrics. Today I'm going to show you how to view charts in the Report Builder and how to customize them to your own needs. So I'm here in the Report Builder under Reports, Production Report Builder. To create a chart, our first step will be to build a report with the data that we want in our chart. So here I'll choose to graph utilization rate for each day of this month. Once the report is built, you will see a button above it that says show chart. Click that button and you will see a chart containing the data for your report. Notice that each row in the table becomes an entry on the X axis of the chart. So whatever you choose as your main grouping, that will become the X axis of the chart. To show this, let's group by machine instead. Now your machines are on the X axis instead of days. Because we're in the report builder, we can now customize this by adding other metrics. So let's add a few more. In fact, let's build our OEE report here in Report Builder. So we'll choose OEE, Availability, Performance, and Quality. And we'll go back to grouping it by day. So here is your OEE report here in the Report Builder. Now this report has several metrics. To focus in on a single one, you can either hover over it or you can toggle metrics on and off by clicking on the metric name. If you save this report while you're viewing the chart, it will save it with the chart open. So let's save this and call it our OE report. So now anytime you load this report, the chart will be visible. If you want to change that, you can close the chart and save the report with the chart closed. Sometimes your chart might show metrics with different value scales, like parts, part-time, percent, etc. So let's take a look at that by adding good parts and rejected parts to this chart. Here we have two different scales, and the legend at the bottom tells you that good parts and rejected parts correspond to the parts axis, and the OEE metrics should be compared to the percent axis. So the report builder is powerful in how it aggregates data, and it allows for nested data groupings. So let's see how that works on the chart. I'm going to add machine as a second grouping here. The chart will still show day on the x-axis, but now it gives you the option to drill down and look at a specific machine. You can also scan through your machines by pressing the arrows. The chart now shows the data for only this machine. If you want to see all machines data, you can still view that by selecting that in the dropdown. So to recap here, your first grouping will always be on the x-axis of the chart and your second grouping will always show as a dropdown that allows you to dig in further into your data. Sometimes you might choose a grouping or time span that has a very large number of entries and a lot of data, too much to show on the chart. So let's take a look at that in this case by showing all of our job runs for this month. In this case, the chart might not be very readable. So we offer the option here to page through your data, here showing 30 job runs at a time. If you want to see all data points instead, you can click on the all page. But maybe you want to view a subset of your job runs based on some other criteria, like only the job runs for a single machine or for a single operator. That can be done by using our report filters to filter your data down to what you want to see. For example, if I filter by a single operator, the chart will now show me only the job runs pertaining to that operator. 
So there you go. Charting here is very flexible and you are in control to build the chart that you need. It can support multiple groupings and filters to let you drill down to see performance of individual machines, jobs, or operators. And you can save these charts with your reports to view them in the future.